you guys ready to make this quest a whole uh, this quest this case a much worse? Cause we're gonna mermaid, topless mermaid. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We are investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ. I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Is that gay cowboys again? Huh. I wonder if that has to do with Brokeback Mountain. My first thoughts when I saw that. Especially on the saddle. But seeing that picture probably was, uh, leads into it. All right, let's get disappointed, shall we? Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. It's a nice mirror he's got there. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. Mm. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. Okay. We'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Uh. Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Right? There's nothing else actually of note in here. Granted, I'm taking more liberty with this one, kind of speed running it more, but there's really no speed running this case. Here's our. So this is where you sprang from. It's pretty important. Eh, we'll get the next thing in a second. We need to grab two more things. He looks so mad here, which I would be too. Let's see what we got here. Jungle drums. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. You know that film that she was talking about? This is what she's got. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? June mentioned on her phone call she's got the film. That's what she's referring to. The question is, where is June now? Also for this mission, we get a newspaper. And we're going to see one of these names very shortly. Actually, we're going to see two of these. No, only one. I'm sorry. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. You want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy. And he's greedy. But he's my wife's brother. <laughs> now can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Please. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. And then put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. We want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, 
Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. That's not very nice. We will eventually deal with Mr. Shelton, eventually. But now, we have one more person to talk to. If the inner attempts to load. Let's talk to Mr. Bishop. Or, Hopgood. We'll deal with Bishop in a second. If the game ever- Holy cow, this is like the longest load I've ever seen this game do yet. I mean, jeez. Grant, I'm not on my Xbox One S. I'm actually here just on my Xbox One. <laughs> it's funny, that thing's never been home. Oh, what, what not are you using? Because there's no games I want for it yet to let's play. Or play in general. And so there's like, yeah, I can just play computer games. Because let's. Like, I do want to play Medium. I was going to think about let's playing it, but I don't like doing horror games not in October, so I want to fit the mood. That's just been my thing. You are screwed, sir. You ever do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah. When Bishop is doing work for a studio, yeah. When did you last see him? Yeah, I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Uh, so this guy's very simple. I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Well, so with the coral hydrate, because that was on her breast bloodstream. A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. I found the coral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something, or I will break your fucking jaw, Hopgood. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Yeah, but you should be. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. That's really good advice. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Hmm. What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. Yeah, that's definitely a law. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. That's why you have to go back there, because you have to find this empty film canister. Enough. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Wait, so you are- wait, who so are you on? Are you playing both sides of your wife on top? Ballard had what she wanted. Where does the money come into it? What money? Oh my gosh. Enough of the lies. I told you, I get my cut selling dirty movies. The 20k check. Your ex was getting 20 large from Bishop. If I wanted to skim 20 from Bishop, we'd do it through the movie budget. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but Guy wanted cash. He's in a cash-only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Bell. What? Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. 
You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Detectives, Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. Also, real you wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier newspaper. today, by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you, boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Oh, okay. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb. But polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a <laughs> bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. If they were smart, that would be the end of it. I don't think they like your little... Oh. They are and not only is there one... They really don't want any... Ah. Wait, you're alive? Right? Dude, don't let me charge you. I need someone to cut my sick right now! Alright. Let's basically get this movie set now. You drive. There's two ways to do that. You, you can do a car notes. chase or you can shoot him. Shoot him a lot quicker. Where are we headed? Especially when we still have, I think, 18 minutes left of this case. And you're probably wondering, how is this case so long? <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how uh, to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, hey Phil. if they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. They don't get to dole out the justice. I'll say, let them deal with it and we get murders. It's a win-win scenario. I mean, I don't justify murder any time ever, but... This would be one I would... be okay with to a degree. Just don't tell me. There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Mark Bishop, stop! Wait. LAPD! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. 11K calling KCCL, requesting assistance at 8 in Francisco, the abandoned movie set. Alright, let's go get this guy finally. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, you have to let it, this chase just run all the way out. We're trying to help you, Bishop! There's this is all a big mistake! And you made a lot of mistakes, sir. Am I running up two stairs at once? Yes, I am. Good. That's the way I would do it. It's us or McAfee's boys. Your choice. I didn't do anything! No, you only drugged a girl, raped a girl. Uh, molested a child. 
Try to kill two people. You know. Dirty things. Bishop, that's enough. Like I said, you cannot catch this guy. It's him that over that first traffic case. We chase somebody. He's just going to do what he's going to do. So we're just going to run all the way this way. Don't make this any harder on yourself, Bishop. We know. We're trying to stop everything. You're dead. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. I'll do what I want. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAvee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Good. I want out of this place as soon as possible. Christ, detective, they're trying to kill me! Who is? Last chance to back the hell down! Alright, remember how I mentioned you last episode the M1 Garand? Well, let's go. Here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. We do. McAfee doesn't make the rules. You hear me? Ooh, I don't think I almost made that. Kill a cop. <laughs> All right, remember how I mentioned you last episode the M1 Garand? That guy got me. LAPD, you're making a big mistake. If we know any kind of shooting mechanics at this point, we're all obviously see these red barrels. We're gonna fight somebody. Is this really the best McAfee's got? The statue there. There's a ladder leading to the ground. Alright, we'll take the statue to the ladder to the ground. Oh my god, they're everywhere! Actually, I may save ten minutes from the last time, depending on how this part goes. Because this part took me forever for no dumb, for no good reason. Get him over here, I'll cover you! Come on, the cavalry's here! Alright. This part kinda sucks. But, your best bet is not to try to fight... ...them. Just blow that up. Yeah, we're gonna do something The last cutscene takes longer than I think it does. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. I remember dying so much the first time playing this. Weapons on the ground now. I know the fact is the more you lose your health, the, the black and white the screen gets. For the love of God, how the many? More are there? black and white the screen gets. There we go. You can actually change the settings to black and white if you really want to. Get into the car. I can't ah! Stay down. That cop almost ran to my bullets. Okay, there we go. I'm more interested seeing. Now this is what I call a result. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice with a capital J, Detective Phelps. You developed such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. Be good working with you, son. Again, you don't give much credit.
Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you didn't. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Kind of strange we're seeing him very after he didn't let us finish what we were doing. Oh yeah, Jungle Drift Sets is one of the landmarks of the game, but we will revisit all landmarks eventually. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. You like a table, Roy? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? I'll get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, yeah, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. You will follow me, detective. Just to the door. He was my only real friend, Harley. We went through it all. You realize what he did? To me. Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Hey. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? Oof. You can't say that you shouldn't do that. This whole game just irritates me. All right. Oh, no. Oh, okay. They still give me five stars despite having 532 damage of vehicle. Makes me wonder how much damage you can have. Well, guys, next time on L.A. Noir, we're going to start the homicide section. I'll see you then.